when I step on the opera stage, I want to bring the person alive. And I invent, in each different production, I invent a different person. For me now, especially in this production, it was a real teenager in a very uh, weird and, and uh, sick environment. So she can't be healthy, mentally healthy herself. It is impossible. I tried to bring the color of a real longing to, to a different person, to, to be in touch with a human being. I, I wanted to focus on that. I mean, when she talks about Johanna and you are so beautiful, it is crazy. He is not beautiful at all. It's all projection. You're the most beautiful man. No, he is not. He is the most ugly man at that moment. And he is stinky and he is thin and everything. Whatever she sees in him, it is a different kind of person than what is around her. I think when, when he just stays in his vision and he doesn't take her where she is and takes her in his kind of vision. No, he's going against it. What can she do? The dance is a story, tells a story. And what happens before the dance between Herodes, Herodias and Salome, and after the dance between Herodes, Herodias and Salome, tells a story. There is, there is definitely abuse, however, physical or mentally, and we can't even say what is worse. It's just terrible. And there is a lot of that around. And I think when she finally gets the head, it is, in my perspective, there are two big things. The first is she first time superior, was superior over Herodes. She finally could, um, he could do everything with her, and he did, in, in whatever way. But this time, she, she could say, this is my point, and you have to follow my point. And I think this is a very important thing, because she, her attention to Johanna and grows when she gets to know who is that in the system. It's not, I want to see because he is a prophet. No, she says, who is crying there? Who is shouting there? And they say, it's nobody. And she says, yeah, it's somebody. It is a, isn't that the prophet? No, no, we don't even talk about it. Isn't that the one Herodes is afraid of? I want to see. So, at the end, I think she had a hint of what could be a relationship, being in touch with somebody, not being always alone, not being always abused, not being always in this sick environment of her mother and father dead and this one and that one. Um, she got a hint of it and when, she, when the head finally comes, it is not the head, it is him. It is that what he, she projected in. The beautiful figure, the whiteness of his skin, the, the black of his hair. And I think this is when she sings, oh, I want to kiss you now. It is, this is purity, this is love. It, for me, it's not sexual at all at this time, at this moment. It is um, all the, the, the yeah, like a child, which is really... Whew. When you have children, you know how they can come towards you. It's just whew, going towards him. And of course, one part of her knows he is dead. And of course, one part of her sees also the head. And maybe a normal person can't um, bear that and I think she does what what is possible she says oh <laughs> she goes in the in the other direction <laughs> why don't you look at me <laughs> by the way <laughs> why, why don't you talk to me <laughs> so I mean there are those different layers in the Schlussgesang
it's easier to see those people as evil or as just bad people or you just see them, yeah, you, you can label them. But at the end, it is, it is just not that easy.